Hi! In this video, I'll show you the basics of how to play for a simulation because there are some things that may be different from the other labs that you're used to playing. So uh, there are a couple of things that are very important. Uh, the first one is the objectives panel in the simulations will look different. So in this case, the simulation is divided into three phases and you can select uh, by aiming the controller or the beam that comes out of, of your hand uh, at the phase and then uh, pressing the, the trigger on that on the right controller to to open the phase. Uh, inside the phase you have several objectives and they don't necessarily have to be done in order so that's another thing that's different from a regular lab. You, you may be able to do certain things out of order um, but let's let's do a couple of them here so you can select the objectives and they will uh, show their description on the right side as well. And you'll probably need to do this a lot. Uh, so just be aware that you can also select the objectives uh, and you can focus on just the ones that you have selected. So you don't need to have all of them on the right side over there. Um, so let's do a couple of them. Uh, review the scenario and the patient status in the EMR. So you can do that by going to, over to the tablet on the right side and just viewing the information about the patient. And if, if we go back and notice that these objectives are now completed, so let's take them out of the description panel. Um, another new thing that you haven't done before uh, is the to have a conversation with the patient. So the conversation, just be aware that you may not get full points for a conversation, even though it appears it's completed, because there are several things that you need to do or, or that you need to say to the patient. Um, and just saying one of them for that category will complete it, but you may need to, to say more than one thing. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to say hi to the patient. Hi, Maria. Hello, nice to meet you. And I'm also going to ask about your pain level. What's your pain level? I wouldn't say that my pain level is high right now. Of course, my leg is somewhat painful. And you may be asking yourself, how am I doing this? Uh, you do this by grabbing the microphone and then uh, holding the trigger button on, on, the, on that controller down. So when I want to talk to Maria, I just have to grab the microphone and then hold the, the trigger down and the microphone will turn green. And while uh, I'm holding it, I can say what I want to say. And then I just have to release the trigger and that will send what I just said over to Maria, and then Maria will, re will reply back to me. So let's get a bit ahead here. Uh, another thing you should be aware of is that there might be objectives that don't appear uh, here. They are hidden objectives. For example, one of them is to update the whiteboard. So if I go over to the whiteboard, I just have to hold my index finger over the update icon and that, that's a hidden objective that you have to remind yourself to do uh, because it's not listed here. Um, so I'm just going to do a couple more, review the plan. So I have reviewed the pain med order. At this point, I would tell Maria that I'm going to give her some meds for her pain, but I'm just going to skip ahead to administer pain med. And then I have to select uh, how long before I return. So I'm just going to select 60 minutes. And you can now see that I failed uh, this objective because I didn't complete it. So that will give me some negative points, but I'll get positive points for all of those that I have done. So on to phase two. In phase two, um, I can review the lab diagnostics now in the EMR. So those weren't here before, but now they are. Uh, I can also ask Maria about her pain again. So just grab the microphone, hold down the trigger, how would you rate your pain on a scale of 0 to 10? Oh my goodness, I feel so much better. I would say that now I am 2 on the 10 scale. Thank you for that pain medication. What a relief. So she's feeling better now uh, because we gave, gave her some meds for her pain. So um, let's just go ahead here. I can also review the order for the antibiotics. So there it is. And that is completed. And I'm just going to tell Maria that I'm going to give her some antibiotics. 
We need to give you some antibiotics for possible infection. Is that okay? All right. I don't like to take medication unless I have to. But this seems like one of those times when I need to. All right. So she's aware that we're giving her antibiotics. And now I'm going to administer it. And also prepare for wound care. So all of that is completed. And I'm now in phase three. Um, so... At this point, I would ask about the wound status and tell her about the procedure, and then I would start the procedure. So here is very similar to the labs that you've done before. It's all linear, and you have to select a step. So in this case, all of these steps are disabled, and I have to finish step one before step two unlocks. Now I move on to step two. I have to read the description and verify, and now I have my gloves on, and I can go to step three. And I select to verify, and I go to step four. So now step four is an action I have to do. I have to remove the dressing and put it in the waste bin over here. So I'm going to grab it and put it there. And now if I go to step five, I have to inspect the wound. So I'm just going to do that. And I go to step six. And it's a verify. And then I go to step seven. And I have to pour saline in the in a clean container so i'm just going to grab that and put it there so yeah i would go and finish that uh, all the way to step 12 to get full points for the procedure uh, in this case you will only get full points if you complete the procedure so make sure that step 12 is completed otherwise none of these will give you points you have to finish step 12 you have to finish the whole thing um, then i would tell the patient i can, I can actually do that i'm just going to tell her You'll have to change your dressing periodically. Thank you. That isn't complicated. I think that I can do that. I'll keep a close eye on it. So she's aware that she has to take care of her wound. And to finalize, we would submit the S read and submit the S bar. So when you select that, you get the full information from the S bar. And then you just have to select to submit. But before we do that, I'm going to grab this book over here so you can take notes to remind yourself of things uh, these notes are only active during the session uh, your faculty will be able to see the notes uh, and just like the microphone you grab the notebook and you hold down the trigger this is me taking a note and as you can see i'm just going to grab it with my left hand you have a note here with what i just said and i can also delete notes so I'm just going to say goodbye. Goodbye. And that's it. So now we're ready. Um, I've done all that I wanted to do. I could finish this to get more points. And you should be trying to finish this to get more points. Uh, but since this is just a demo, I am not going to finish it all. I'm just going to go ahead and submit the S bar. So the score has been submitted. You can see the mastery here. Um, you can also see how long it took. And if you go over to the tablet on the right side, if you want to return to the lobby, or if you want to see the details of what you did. So in this case, I got full points for reviewing the MR data. I only got 84 out of 245 points for seeing the converse, for the conversation. So there was a lot more that I needed to tell Maria that I didn't. Uh, I administered all the meds. I didn't finish the clinical skill. Uh, I only updated the whiteboard on the first phase. So remember, you have to do it every phase. And I completed all three phases. And this is my total score. And then I have my mastery, which is a calculation made from the total score. So I'm about a third of the way there. You should be trying to go for 100%. And I think that covers it all. Thank you.